Hi! Um, welcome to my first Let's Play ever. Um, I'm going to try doing a Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. Because why not? Um, I'm going to not talk through the beginning. Do a little bit of talking during the character creation bit. And then kind of cut that out. Or cut the rest of that out. And then kind of get going. So here we go. And so is the golden city blackened. With each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon the world. Canticle of Threnodes 8.13 The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Awesome. So, um, I have already played this game, and I'm planning on playing it almost exactly the same. Um, with origins, I think I'm going to make a couple different Greetings. choices, but the bulk of it will probably be the same. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna work real hard on this character creation. I'm going to skip through that, though, because I'm sure it's going to take forever.
On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Come in. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. There is tranquility. Option? Is losing all your magic an option? No, I have faith that you will succeed. Know this, Apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. <laughs> the harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Starting this game up. Disturbing statue. I'll get on it. Cool. One thing about Origins that I have noticed is that they speak to you very often. Every time you tell your character to do something. Sybil, at least, has to give you sass. It gets real old, real fast. So, as I said, I have done this before. Um, in the meantime, I've played 2 and Inquisition. Alright, alright! And the first time I played, this was really like my first game in which I had choices. And I didn't really know how to deal with that. So now that like I've kind of adjusted from PS2 games to games in which I have choice, I'm gonna see about doing some things and saying no 
more often. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. You, <laughs> you think rat. you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. Creative. No. I don't remember anything from... Before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. That's not going to happen to me. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. There's something here, contained. Just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Anything can die. I doubt it's as simple as that. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. Call me there a fool, are then. others here, other spirits. They will tell you more. They be help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Okay. I'll I'll not do that then. Forgot about lyrium veins just hanging out. Isn't that nice? Oh. Throw that arcane bolt. So dead. Spirit of Valor. Now there's definitely, there's definitely a way to do this correctly and a way to do this incorrectly. And I think I'll get on it. The first time I definitely did it incorrectly. I think I had to fight him. Another and I spirit this way. Died. It never seemed equal to its name to me. So I think I'm gonna save just in case. Um All right. Let's try this out. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Also, side note, Sybil's a bit of an asshole, so I'm trying to, trying to factor that in when I choose dialogue. Eh, fight each other. We're not warriors. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Did you create all of these weapons? They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. Would one of these weapons affect a demon? Without a doubt. 
In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. I'm gonna try this one. It seems you would prefer to kill me yourself. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Then prove it. Help me fight the demon. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. Thanks, bro. Alright. Four damage. Could be better. Uh, I'll plot. Hey. I want, I want this here. Okay. Is that you, mouse? That's always worrisome. Target practice. Spirit wolf. Is anyone? All right, all right. <laughs> Oh, uh, there it was. Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back. Be cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. You will hear those words. Many times. If you continue on this. On this let's play path. All right, Sloth Demon. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. What kind of spirit are you? It's a demon. Maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I need help defeating a demon. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Uh, be valorous. Mm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I, I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? I thought you were here to help, but you're just a coward. A coward could not have endured as I have. The time I have spent waiting for...
for some possibility of release. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You can't just suggest something and then change your I mind. Can't. You have so much to learn about the Fade, little mortal. Mouse wants to learn. Teach you. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. This is super fun. I love this. I don't really want to fight him. I do like... I do like riddles. I accept your challenge, Sloth. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Mm. Nah. <laughs> Correct. Let's move yeah. on. <laughs> the second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. Tongue. What am I? Definitely a tongue. Yes, your witty tongue. Uh, fair enough. Uh, one more try, shall we? Often will I spin a tale, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But, alas, you won't remember me. What am I? A dream? You are correct. Rather apropos here in Fade, no? But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. <laughs> hmm. Close enough. Go, then, and uh, defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. He looks goofy AF. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Ready to go kick some ass. Yeah. You'll get no mercy from me. No. dialogue, which is real dumb. Not him. It's not. It's not dialogue. Oh, what in me. horror as I rip you apart! You got so ripped apart. The most ripped apart. Let's try this. I'm gonna say first. Oh, 
I like to have like four. I like to have like four saves. That's good for me. And there is a spirit of rage. Let's go. Let's go chit chat. Let's have a little little combo. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Come and get me, if you can. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. Oh, he's so embarrassed. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Can I get you a ladder so you can get your way back? Got it. Get so far. Oh, you died. Oh. You did it. You actually did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to. But I never really thought any of you were worthy. <laughs> that was that was super easy. The ones you betrayed before me, what were their names? What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me. Like they tried with you. So what is it you think you can get from me? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. True. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. Not my problem, Mouse. No, 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 no. It must be your choice. Quickly now. The Templars are going to kill you. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil. The Fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. Not untrue, unfortunately. Like you. Were you ever really an apprentice? What? Yes, of course. I mean, I think I was. Isn't that enough? It should be enough. For you? Maybe they are right about you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. You didn't give me a chance to distrust you. I would have fought you. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Fight anyone. Don't even look at me or I'll fight you. Are you alright? Say something, please. A demon? Die, it's demon. me, Jowan. Calm down. Just try to relax. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. Really? I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Stop pestering me, Jowan. <laughs> so much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters <laughs> upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I passed my test. That's all I care about. Oh my god, look at that semicolon. Wow. Thank you, Dragon Age. 
Thank you for that semicolon. Oh, I see. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. You're just paranoid. No, I'm afraid of what will happen to me. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. Didn't he say he was going to stop talking to me? You worry too much. It's annoying. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. I should go talk to him immediately. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. What if I don't want to speak to Did you, you later? Did you hear anything? Is she all right? Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. <laughs> he says she's very talented and very brave. Well, he would, wouldn't he? <laughs> I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. <laughs> ah. Alright. Do a little, little level up. There we go. Um, that one's good. Let's go. Where is Cullen? I want to talk to him. Now's better than later. Shh. Hush now, sweet cheeks. I probably shouldn't do this. This is probably like even more boring to watch than it is to do. Um. All right, all right. But I do like stuff, and I can get some stuff. So, I remember playing through this the first time and passing Cullen. I don't think I oh, heard. I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid that the got it? I don't think I heard that exchange between those two ladies. Um, I passed him in the hall and he was all Death goofy. Because I got like really excited because I thought, you know, he would have a bigger role in this game. Um, he did not. He... Yeah, he, uh, he appears again. But it's... It's really, really underwhelming. I was... I was looking forward to a lot of fun. A lot of fun with Cullen. I did not... I did not get that lot of fun with Cullen until Inquisition. <laughs> Can you guess who I romanced? You do must you, control do you have the any fire idea? with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. Do you remember what the That's Chantry what says about magic? Injuries. Magic must serve man. Concentrate! Hold the shield! <laughs> Yikes. That was, that was a lot to deal with, to, to hear. These load times are very short. This is awesome. I hate load times. Um, eh, I don't know what way to go. go now it's better than later. Probably later. Maybe. I don't know. We're gonna do some things different, so... We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. I do know. This is Cullen, right here. <laughs> I love how he looks, because it's not oh, good. Oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. <laughs> Why are you stuttering? What? I, <laughs> I'm fine. I, uh... I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? I thought all Templars liked killing mages. Maybe some, but not me. It's my duty to hunt down apostate mages, but... I do so with a heavy heart. I've no more time to discuss this. Uh, uh yes. Maybe we can talk another time. 
Cullen. Stab it. Like, that, that gave me a lot of hope. My first playthrough. And it just, it was all disappointment. All of it. 100%. <laughs> nope. I went, I went the wrong way. I got distracted by Cullen. <laughs> Let's open. Now's better chest. than later. Thank you. You're a mage. What a surprise. That's a mage, that isn't a chest. It's a person. All right, all right. Yeah, see how she just, she has to sass me. Every goddamn time I tell her to That's do something. Not likely. But John Prey would do I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. You're wrong. I am not here to speak with you. Am I? No. No, it's Irving. I need to talk to Irving. So many codex entries. You're tranquil. And therefore, creepy. Okay. Where do I need to go? <laughs> and how do I get there? Let's try this. <laughs> See how this goes. I don't know. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Yo, what up? What's going on? I said hey. Nothing concerning you at this moment. <laughs> Come, child. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. What's he doing here? You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Why? Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. Darkspawn are a dwarven problem. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threatened to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry, the poor girl, with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. My leash, you mean? <laughs> now, child, it's not that bad. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. 
We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. That's all I get. Joining the circle is a reward as well. You will realize this one day. It mm. goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. Can I leave not the tower? Yet. Remember, the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? Does Duncan not know where his quarters are? Being difficult, are we? You are an apprentice no longer. I expect you to set a good example. Oh, all right. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. All right, I think I'm gonna end this first installment right here. I might immediately do another one, but um, I don't know. We'll see. If you watch this, thanks. That's real cool of you. Appreciate it. If you didn't, I don't know how you're how you're listening to this, but you're a poop. Cool. Thanks. Bye bye.